Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for uh, having us on. And yeah, there's nothing better than coming off a uh, big win uh, like the Huskers got against Oregon this last weekend. Let's talk about that that matchup and with Oregon. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys have all had those moments where you get through the 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 lesser opponents to get to those big games. We we talked about that a lot last week about just feeling that feeling before a big game, knowing it was a big game. What do you remember most about about those types of games in that stadium? Well, you know, you always hear you want to take one game at a time, but those bigger games are obviously in the back of your mind. And, um, you know, they took care of business the first couple of weeks and um, sounds like they had a great week of preparation. And um, to get a win like that in front of, a you know, our 350th consecutive sellout, fans are crazy. Um, came up big when we needed to defensively there towards the late – latter part of the game and and the offense rolled and and put up points so uh special teams played a big role in it too so it was a a three-phase game that everybody won and um i'm sure there's just a lot of excitement in that locker room and they're looking to continue that you mentioned the 350th sellout the the coolest thing about that is i was talking to brendan i was talking to steve taylor i even talked to alex henry on saturday too three different generations of huskers all a part of it you two were a part of that as well what what do you remember most about playing in that stadium in front of sellout crowds every time you know, it just it goes back to the uh, fan base here, and and Nebraska has the best fans in college football, and it's you know it's one thing you know week after week every time you stepped out onto uh, the field here in Lincoln, uh, you know you were going to have a sellout crowd and and fans that were going crazy for you and supported you like no other. So it was something that that really made you proud to be part of the program, and it uh, was an exciting time every Saturday that rolled around when you're coming out to strap it on one other tradition that we should we should bring up is kyron williams nebraska safety was given his black shirt after a couple of big weeks for him and you know this day and age we've got social media we've got twitter we've got videos we can see the guy's reaction when they get him uh and you know it just hits him like a lightning bolt i'm sure you guys remember the first time you got yours what was that feeling seeing that thing hang in your locker you know it's an amazing feeling it's something as a especially a nebraska born kid um with uh, aspirations of playing for the black shirts and playing for the huskers um when that day comes it's a special feeling you know um you got the support of of not only your your teammates but obviously the coaching staff and you join an elite fraternity that is known nationwide you know when i went to the nfl and uh, was playing with guys all over the country everybody had heard of the black shirts everybody knew what it was uh, about and what it stood for and and to be able to represent that fraternity is is huge um you know both chad and i were black shirts and um i can speak for chad we both remember the first time we received our, our black shirt and um you know coach mcbride and, and just everything that the history of, of that that practice jersey and, and what it stands for um you know is, is something huge obviously in our family and, and many families around Conference play begins this week for the Big Red. We, we, uh, we're, we're to that time now when I, we we're in a different conference than we were when you guys were playing. But when you think back to those matchups, who, who were the opponents that kind of stuck out to you? And, you know, it's important to, to treat every pro- opponent with respect and, you know, do your due diligence and preparation. But uh, when you get the schedule, it's only natural to, to find those big ones. When you, when you were going through your schedule in the Big 12, what, what was one or two opponents that you just loved playing against? You know, you, you definitely cannot forget, and, and the rivalry with Oklahoma was so great. Um, I actually got to play uh, the last season of the Big 8, and so uh, Oklahoma is obviously a, a team on the schedule that you never looked past. Unfortunately, you know, a couple of years I had opportunity to play against Oklahoma. Their, their program was down, and I know uh, just speaking as a fan, you know, that was nothing that we ever really wanted to see happen, and I know from Oklahoma's perspective, they really didn't want to see when Nebraska was down. I mean, that rivalry for so long was so great. Uh, as we moved into the Big 12, uh, you know, teams like Kansas State and Colorado and, and some of those uh, organizations always uh, tried to red letter Nebraska. Um, you know, like you say, though, it, you, you try and play every game, but uh, undoubtedly some of the games turned out to be bigger games than others. Something I love asking players that have played uh, a few years ago, just how much college football has changed over the over the past few years meaning the non-conference schedule mm-hmm. the college football playoff how everyone's critiquing every little thing college football teams are doing anymore what do you think of that i mean what do you, what do you make of of where college football is at right now with expanding conferences adding teams in to try and get conference championship games it's so much different than back when you guys were playing what what do you think of what's happening right now with the sport 
Well, you know, it's definitely different. Um, I think it's exciting. The parody in, in college football is uh, second to none. You know, back when Chad and I played even, um, you know, you had a handful of powerhouses that you could count on every year. Now, you know, uh, you know, you got those teams that are, are at the top of the polls every year entering a season, but you have a few surprises mixed in throughout the season. Now with the playoff schedule and stuff like that, um, uh, it makes it uh, more exciting week in and week out. Um, you know, just look at that first week with uh, I think there's, you know, two or three, four, you know, top ten teams that went down. Um, and with the playoff system, you don't have a, a very good opportunity. I mean, early in the season, you take a loss, you can still get back in that playoff, but uh, it makes it awfully difficult for the remainder of the season. But it has changed a ton. And uh, even the last couple of years, I've said that uh, um, I think it's, you know, kind of take the face of, of more like an NFL atmosphere, you know, uh, just with coaches and you don't see very many of them hanging around like they used to. Um, you get a couple years, three or four years max, and if you aren't, you know, producing on the field and getting your guys to, to click, uh, you're, you're probably looking for a job elsewhere. The reason we brought you guys in, Nebraska hits the road for the first time this year in Evanston. Uh, that's not the story. The story is what your guys' company is involved with now powering the, the visiting games, the road games for the Huskers this year. How excited are you uh, to be a part, part of something like this and, and be known for you know kind of carrying that flag for us on the Husker road games? It's really exciting. Truck Center Companies is a great organization. Trey Mitty, our, uh, uh, our owner, uh, is a huge Husker fan. Our company is, is big, big supporters of the Huskers. Um, obviously, with our history, uh, having an opportunity to play here, um, it's exciting for us to be able to continue to be part of the program uh, from this perspective and, uh, you know, having the opportunity to support uh, the Road Warriors uh, this year is something that's, uh, you know, important to us. And, you know, just having the opportunity to continue to support the program um, is, is something that we think is important and uh, it's something we're excited to be doing. Well, we're excited as well. It should be fun. We'll see what the Huskers have for us. The first first road game, what, what, was, what was always, I mean, I, by the time you're an upperclassman in the National Football League, you're used to traveling. Right. But for, for some of these guys, they've never done it before. I, how long does it take to kind of get your feet wet with that process? It doesn't take long. You know, uh, you prepare the same. Um, the only difference is obviously the atmosphere. You're traveling to a different stadium. Um, the travel side of it, um, just getting to, um, you know, that city and, and, and that venue. But, um, you know, I always you know, looked forward to playing on the road. Obviously, there's nothing better than playing in front of your own fans. But um, to go into somebody else's house and beat them is, is special. And um, I think that that's what the, the Huskers have in store this weekend. Should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, they can t keep it rolling and be 4-0, 1-0 in the league. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. We do, too. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot.